everyone, and welcome once again to another edition of the Red Brown and Williams Real Estate Show. I'm Shannon Deskins, along with Jennifer Brown Day. You've got a lot to tell people today, don't you, on the show? We do. In, in addition to our regular listings that, of course, we're really excited about, we also have a new agent in the Pikeville office who's going to introduce himself in our Real Estate Minute today. All right. Now, now I know that's that you've... you've Glad to have the new addition to your staff, but you're mm -hmm. always looking for qualified people to come work with you all. Absolutely. As we've discussed before, we do have four offices up and down US 23, Louisa, Paintsville, Prestonsburg, and Pikeville. We are always looking for licensed real estate agents and appraisers. So if you have an interest in a new career, definitely give us a call. All right. Now, keep thinking about that while we tell you these five listings in the area. And these are all your listings today. They are. They are my listings. And the reason we've got these today, they're either new listings that are brand new on the market or we've got some reductions we want to share with everybody. Okay. Well, let's start out with a new listing. And this one's a little different than before. This one's a townhouse. It is. This is a townhouse. And this is one of the best areas in Pikeville. People love this area. This is Fields Way, which people are very familiar with if you're in downtown Pikeville. Right, and this is just off of Hambly Boulevard, I guess you would call mm -hmm. it as you're going toward the Cedar Creek area. You've got the Cornerstone Christian Church. Mm -hmm. This is that group of townhouses right behind there. That's correct. That's correct. This one sits on the front row, which if you're familiar with how Fields Way lines up, that front row is more of the patio style. Mm -hmm. It's a one-level townhouse. So it is a really nice layout. It's a very open layout. This one happens to be the last one on the street, so you actually have privacy, which isn't something you usually describe with a townhouse, Right. but you do have privacy with this one. You've got a yard that you could fence if you wanted to. I mean, there's just extra space to do with as you please. You never hear the townhouse and yard going together, but it does in this listing. It does with this one, and yes, you have a lot of space. There's actually a couple end units on up. They've got nice fenced yards, or they've extended their driveway mm -hmm. to allow for additional driveway space. It's kind of whatever you would want to do. You actually have the space to do it in this unit. And then looking at the inside, the pictures on the screen mm -hmm. show that this one, a lot of the extras, they've taken the time to put everything extra they can possibly put in this home. Absolutely. It's got high ceilings throughout. You've got tile flooring pretty much throughout. You do have hardwood in the bedrooms. A very open layout, like I said before. And then you do have, it's a two-bedroom, two mm -hmm. nice size rooms. Both of them have full bathrooms. So you can have two master suites. It's very easy to have uh, multiple people in the townhouse at one time. And then you actually have a half bath for guests in addition. Right. And then talking about the living space on the inside, and we talked about the yard on the outside. Well, you've got a screened-in porch, which mm -hmm. kind of merges the two together. Exactly. And it is a really, really nice screen porch. That's probably one of my favorite areas. I'd spend all my time on this screen porch because it, it really is nice. And it's they've got ceiling fans out there so you can enjoy a breeze while you sit under the screen porch. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, like we said, you're the end unit, so you actually have a private view part of the way to enjoy as well. Right. And then that's an addition to the square footage, which mm -hmm. it's almost 1,700 square feet as it is. And we're talking about this screened-in porch, which may be your favorite room in the house. But it's not actually a room. <laughs> Correct. And it's not included. So that's bonus square footage. Absolutely. Absolutely it is. And then something we haven't mentioned, this also has an attached two-car garage. Wow. That is a lot for a townhouse. So definitely something if you're in the market uh, at this price range, which is just under $300,000, $295,000 for this townhouse in Pikeville at Fields Way. Mm -hmm. And of course, this is your listing, so let's give the Pikeville office number. Okay, the Pikeville office number is 606-437-2333. And when you give Jennifer a call on this listing, make sure you mention 106838. That is the MLS number for this listing. Sounds good, let's go to number two. Uh, let's go to number two. <laughs> now, this one is off of Harold's Branch, which mm -hmm. uh, those of you familiar with Pikeville, you'll, right behind Pikeville Medical Center. Correct, correct. This is a new listing right behind the medical center, like you said, and this one is great because it has so many possibilities with mm -hmm. it. There, you can see in the pictures, it is a house that is included. You also have 10 acres. You also have an additional lot that's included in those 10 acres that already comes with a water meter and a driveway of its own. So you have house and acreage, or you can have a house, a house seat and additional acreage. You really have a lot of space on this one to, to make it fit your needs. Right, and then right there you're telling me if I wanted to, I could purchase this in this additional property, turn mm -hmm. around, 
list it back with you for that extra law to make some of my money back or pay a big chunk on my mortgage. Absolutely. And then you can also, you know, in this area it's very popular, you know, you've got a kid that's getting ready to graduate or something and you want them out of the house but you don't necessarily want them too far away. This is a great one. You could easily have them close by if you wanted to, mm -hmm. an elderly parent, anything like that. A great property for that. And they've done a lot of updates to this house. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm just looking at the list right now. We've got new paint, and it's got a new metal roof, which are, is, is a popular thing these days. Exactly. And then they've also done some newer laminate flooring in the kitchen area and the utility area. The one thing with this one that's really hard to imagine, I know the square footage is on the screen, it's about a little over 1,500 square feet. Mm -hmm. That is just on the first floor. The second floor doesn't have heating and cooling, so we can't actually count it as finished heating or finished square footage. Right. But it is finished with the exception of that. So you have two more bedrooms upstairs. It actually could be an easily a five bedroom house. But it's only going to be technically because of the heating and cooling right. issue not listed in the square footage. So don't exactly. look at that 1,500 square foot thing and thought, wow, that's too small for me. This is one you're going to have to come look at. Yeah, you really need to see this one because you have a lot more space in the house and with the land than you would actually imagine. It's $161,000 for the house, the 10 acres, and like we said, the separate lot, which could be sold or used for another house. So definitely give Jennifer a call or even shoot her an email. What's your email address? The email is jbrown at rbnw.com. All right, mention 106802. That is the email list number for that house on Harold's Branch. Okay, moving along, let's mm -hmm. get out of the city limits and go south on 23 for a little while and to Rocky Road. Okay, this is again new listings on Rocky Road and we're doing something a little bit different with this one. I don't think we've ever done it before, but it's actually okay. two listings, but we're going to kind of combine it in one little section. Right, and the, the way you you said this is it's really you need to give it all together even though it's broken up into two mm -hmm. numbers because one has the house on it the other has the land exactly and they're not side by side they're not completely adjacent but the house literally looks over rocky road onto the lot so it's it's two separate deeds and that kind of stuff but if you're looking to be in the millard area mm -hmm. if you want a house that's a little bit of a project. The house needs a little bit of work, but it's a great house, ready for a buyer. If you're looking for a house, you have an option. If you want to do something on your own, you also have some land there that makes it a great option. Right, and, and you were talking about the house. Three bedrooms, one bathroom, mm -hmm. and it's one of those project houses, I guess you could say. You come in and you make it your own. And then something that's really neat on this one is it's got unfinished basement space that we can't really count as anything, mm -hmm. but it's great storage. It's great access to the underneath the house, which if people work in crawl spaces, I'm sure they appreciate. Oh, yes. So it's got a lot of possibilities with it. And then total acreage. We talked about mm -hmm. the extra lot. But that extra lot is in addition to the whole total of 21 acres. Correct. Uh, and like you said, there's three access drives to this mm -hmm. property, four or five different flats. So if, if you're the developer type and you're the project type person, which I think this could be a listing that we could just say project oriented. Yes. Uh, you could clear those flats off and make who knows how many house seats in this area. Absolutely. In this area, you know, if you drive down Rocky Road, the house is going to be to your right and you can look very easily driving mm -hmm. by. I know we always recommend people driving by. You can see the flats. These okay. aren't flats that are hidden in the hill. That These are flats that are very, very noticeable and the most of them actually already have water run to them. So anyone who's looking to possibly develop extra house seats mm -hmm. or anything, this is definitely very attractive for them to look at. Absolutely. And for the price too, $119,900. Mm -hmm. So basically $120,000 for the first part and then the extra, eight, the extra lot is 29,000. Correct. So total you're under 150,000 for this entire listing. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay, give you a call on this one. They can give the Pikeville office a call. Again, that number is 606-437-2333. Okay. Now, staying in Pike County, but moving on to get back out on 23 and go mm -hmm. a little farther south. This one's on Indian Creek. This one's on Indian Creek. We have actually covered it before, but this is one of the ones that's been reduced, and I just want to make sure and reiterate to everyone how great this house is and make sure everybody knows the new price. And I love this house. I mean, it's a smaller house, but it's cozy looking. Mm -hmm. 
and I, I just like the way it looks. I mean, you're looking at about 1,300 square feet, but then again, you still have three bedrooms in this house, so it's very well used space. Absolutely. And the three bedrooms, the great thing about this house is they use the square footage extre extremely wisely. So you actually have a bedroom that's either got a walk-in closet or an office attached to it. It oh, can wow. even be a small nursery, depending on what your needs are. Um, you have the, and then you have the additional two bedrooms to that. And that's the way you, you can tell the well use of space. Mm -hmm. You're in there and it's 1,300 square feet, but it doesn't feel like it. Right. So you've got, it feels like a much larger house, but then again, when it comes to cleaning it and taking care of it and maintenance, you're going to love the smaller feel. Absolutely, absolutely. And then it's got original hardwood flooring in it, but they have updated the kitchen with new cabinets. You can see in the picture, I think we have a kitchen mm -hmm. picture. Um, so it's just a house that's been really well taken care of. It honestly is, unless you wanted to personalize it or something came up on a home inspection that was unexpected, it's a move-in ready property. Right. And then the location isn't mm -hmm. bad. It's very convenient to US 23, which we're talking about Indian Creek. So mm -hmm. basically you're not very far out of the city limits of Pikeville on the south side of town and then you get that country feel. Exactly, exactly. And if you're going up Indian Creek, this property is going to sit on your left. Of course, our sign is in the yard, so it's pretty easy to locate. And your signs are pretty noticeable. Mm -hmm. um, and anything, whether it's any of these listings or not, jot down the number, give your office a call, and you can show any of these listings. Absolutely. I can, or our new agent can, which I'm sure he'll be able to tell you about. And we'll meet him in just a moment. <laughs> okay, now the price on that one was just reduced mm -hmm. uh, to 86 dollars so That's correct. Very attractive price uh, for this house on Indian Creek. All right, now we're going to end the show with one we've done a couple times before, but it's worth mentioning today because they've just done a price reduction. Exactly. We're including this one again for the price reduction. I'm sure if the pictures are already on the screen, you can see and you recognize this house. This is one of my favorite houses for us to do because uh -huh. we both we both kind of like that style. But um, this is the log house that sits in Coal Run. It's up Tolly Lane, which is right off US 23 as you go through Coal Run. Mm -hmm. um, extremely convenient location. And then this is, it sits on three and a half acres. Most of it is usable yard space. Well, you can see it in, in yes. the photo. It's, that was a great picture to show this home because it's like yard, yard, yard. Oh, there's the house. Yeah. Yeah. And that being right this close to Pikeville, technically in Coal Run, but mm -hmm. it's all right there. Now, you don't find that very often. You don't. You don't. And then you can see in the other pictures, you've got all the wood detailing, the log detailing, nice big open kitchen to the family room and dining area, and then you also have formal living and dining. Instead of uh, this a home, I want to call this, I keep looking at it, I think it's a lodge. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a house, this is a lodge. A mountain you've, chalet. That's right. <laughs> you've got the exposed beams, you've got the big windows that mm -hmm. look out over it. I mean, you just get that feel of... It's a lodge, and that, that could be your home every day of the year. Exactly. Why would you even leave? Exactly. And with the amount of space it's got, you really wouldn't have to because you've no. got four bedrooms, you've got three full baths, and then two half baths. One of those bathrooms is in the finished basement, which mm -hmm. we haven't even mentioned yet, but it's got a walkout basement that's over 1,200 square feet. It's got a kitchenette in it, a nice office space. And then you have all the square footage above, which is, you know, over 3,700 square feet of space. Right. And you're talking, you're talking total about 5,000 square foot mm -hmm. of, of house. So this is definitely, if you're in the market for this, remember this just went through a pretty good mm -hmm. size price reduction, too. So we're now at $488,800. So $489,000 uh, for this, plus all the acreage right outside of Pikeville. Uh, let's go over your phone number and your email address both for the Pikeville office. Okay. The phone number for Pikeville is 606-437-2333. And I'm actually going to give the website if that's okay. Oh, that's even better. We'll do the website. It's R B and A N D spelled out W dot com. Where you can find this listing, all of Red Brennan Williams listings, mm -hmm. and all the other Realtors in Eastern Kentucky, their listings are there too, which you can show any of those. Absolutely. Any of our agents can show any listing in Eastern Kentucky. Especially your new agent. <laughs> We're going to meet him right now. Exactly. Hello, my name is Matt Bowie. I'm the newest Kentucky licensed real estate agent at Red Brown and Williams. I'm excited to be a part of the RBW family and to assist people of Eastern Kentucky with their real estate needs. I'm proud to have been born, raised, and educated in Eastern Kentucky. What can I offer you, the buyers and sellers of the area? I plan to offer outstanding service that I've acquired over several years of sales experience and customer service throughout my career. Also, I'll use passion and integrity 
two things I learned during my previous career serving the United States Air Force to make sure every client is taken care of. I'll put all my clients first, and I look forward to working with you, my future clients, on finding new homes, selling old homes, and making your real estate dreams a reality. Thank you for joining us for the Red, Brown, and Williams Real Estate Show. We hope you'll join us again soon.